Nein. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Quick disclaimer before we get started. I want to apologize for the quality. I'm filming on my GoPro again because Yes, no memory card, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's uh, it's sitting on my laptop at home on my desk. Yeah, so today's gonna be kind of a short and stubby video. Basically, I just wanted to make a stupid joke because I bought a stubby antenna for the truck here. For some reason in 2018, we still have these big floppy ass antennas and uh, I'm gonna do something about that. So what I ended up buying is a Ronin factory. Ronin factory 50 cal replica bullet antenna veteran supported made in the usa they'll give you some decals some ronin factory decals that's pretty cool and oh look at that that is nice now this company is pretty cool. They carry these like 50 cal bullet antennas. They also carry like a, a regular stubby antenna that is not shaped like this. You can get it on their website or on Amazon. It said like seven to 10 business days to ship. I ordered mine, it came to my house in two days. And then I ordered two more like a day later for Ashley's Jeep. And I ordered one for my brother-in-law's truck. And once again, they came in two days. So like that's some pretty good customer satisfaction off the bat. Mm. That's so good. Now, why would we want to replace our antenna? Well, really, it does nothing except for aesthetic. It, it looks aesthetically more pleasing than this big floppy thing that we still have in 2018. A couple quick tips, you know, disclaimers maybe. These antennas might not get the best reception like your OEM antenna does. I think the big reason why we still have these floppy things is it sticks up over your hood line. I don't know why they can't just put like a, another shark antenna like they have for the XM radio on these, but it sticks over your, it sticks over your roof line so you get good reception. Now going like this, this is only about six inches tall. It's gonna look cool, but it may or may not get good radio reception. And I thought, I thought like today is the best day to put this on and try it because I am driving about 80 miles past my house through the city of Pittsburgh where most of my, my FM radio stations are broadcasted out to the other side into the country and back home so i'll be able to give this thing a really good test and so basically let you guys know how it works uh, before you go spend 40 bucks and get one yourself another quick tip slash reminder is ronin factory they give you the anti-theft compound in the threads that's how it ships to your house they do warn you that if you put this on with this compound on it's going to dry within like 24 hours you're not going to be able to get this antenna back off and they do say on their instructions that if you don't want the anti-theft compound on there you can simply wipe it off and there you go but i'm not going to worry about it if you see like the gm ones this is kind of like female style for lack of better terms and the antenna itself on there is like male style so i don't really know how to get in those threads i mean i guess you get like a pipe cleaner but i'm not interested like the one we just got for ashley and her jeep her antenna came and it is like male style so she just wiped the compound right off with like a wet paper towel so now she's not going to have that on there she could take hers off anytime she wants me mine might be stuck on there forever which is fine by me i don't listen to fm radio a whole lot anyway so like i'm not worried if i don't get the best reception uh, but definitely quick quick uh make sure you make sure you like it um, if you're going to stick it on there with the compound because uh, they're saying on their website you might not ever be able to get this off you have to actually break the antenna and get a new one like a whole new assembly on the chevy trucks these things come off with a 10 millimeter wrench so we're just going to unscrew this goodbye floppy and then this guy is just gonna screw right on. Yeah. And I must say, I think it looks pretty badass. Maybe I'll put that logo up front. That locking compound is pretty legit. All right, we're gonna do that. That looks good. 
man a simple install just like that damn i was trying to unscrew it a little bit just so i get the logo up front and a locking compound like almost instant i think jesus so now i'm just gonna drive around do my daily tasks and um i'll let you guys know what i think here in a second and then real quick the tonneau cover i'm gonna do a video on it specifically itself down the road this just came from my sister and brother-in-law's house so thank you sarah and tom for the tonneau cover my brother-in-law had a truck similar to this double cab standard bed and he had the tonneau cover on it for like three or four months and then he ended up trading that truck in getting a crew cab short bed so this tonneau cover no longer fit on his truck and i just bought a double cab standard bed so i now get the tonneau cover i hope you guys have a good vacation and uh, tom please enjoy your new ronin factory antenna i hope you like it just as much as i like this one guys so without making you listen to every single one of my radio stations to see for yourselves you're gonna have to take my word for it instead for how small of an antenna this is I am actually impressed with how well it still holds reception I still get HD radio I'm not sure how like other vehicle manufacturers do radio but GM has HD radio and I still get the HD radio and when HD radio kicks in the sound is like flawless it's exactly how it was before I even replace the antenna to begin with when hd radio is not available you can definitely tell the difference in you know quality going through some back roads and hitting a lot of tree coverage you lose reception even there's even times on the highway i noticed that like i did not get the best reception that i used to get some stations you get better reception some stations you get worse it just kind of all depends on i, I guess where you live what kind of stations you listen to and uh and things like that yeah when hd radio is not available you could definitely tell that you know the station's a little bit more fuzzy than it used to be but like once again what i said when hd radio is found and hd radio kicks in it's perfect there's like no issues so something like that is okay with me once again i don't really listen to fm radio a whole lot but if you're somebody who listens to nothing but fm radio and you want it to be the best quality at all times i probably would not suggest an antenna like this to you you can still get a stubby antenna but maybe not as small as this one i know they're out there that you could get them for you know like 12 inches 14 inches so something a little bit smaller but not quite as small as the 50 cal so with all that being said uh that's all i got for you guys today thank you for tuning in my light gang please smash that like button for me if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for next week's video. Peace.